Hello and welcome back to PaleoCast. I'm Dave Marshall, this is Joe Keating, and this is our annual review 2016. We are four today. Hooray! And we are celebrating by being out in the wonderful English countryside in a horrible ditch. Joe, where are we? We're in Shropshire, in lovely rural Shropshire, looking for early jawless fishes. And have we found any? We found some. They're, I mean, they're minute bits, but they are they're still quality fossils, exquisitely preserved. I'm, I'm sure there'll be plenty of nature papers coming out of this expedition. And we're also uh, fieldwork twins. Yeah, we've worn our special uh, fieldwork <laughs> t-shirts. Yours has got some writing on and mine's just got some mud on. So for this annual review, we're going to be talking to each of the PaleoCast members and really getting an understanding of what they did this last year, uh, both academically and in PaleoCast. So Joe, this past year, what have you been doing? Well, uh, mainly writing. Uh, so this year I've been finishing off my thesis and uh, fingers crossed and barring all catastrophes, it will be done tomorrow. I bet you're pretty relieved. Relieved exhausted uh yeah yes uh, definitely relieved how many words is it uh my last count was forty-eight thousand. <laughs> yeah um, that's that's a small one i think bruno's was a hundred thousand and how long has that taken you about uh so actually assembling it wasn't too bad because i was writing up as i went along so it's only taken a couple of months to like pull everything together but you know actually writing it doing the research has been an arduous four-year task. Yeah. And are you going to get any uh, papers out of it? So two have already been off and they're published and we're going to submit another two and hopefully they'll be published uh, next year. Excellent. And then what are you going to be doing next year? So uh, hopefully I'll be starting a postdoc, uh, either doing phylogenetics or uh, carrying on doing fossil fishes. Sounds uh, super interesting. Pivotal. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, looking uh, back uh, at the year from a paleocast point of view, what has been your favourite moment? Um, definite highlight was interviewing uh, my good friend, Dr. David Button, mm -hmm. who is uh, my oldest paleontology friend. And uh, yeah, that was a really fun interview to do and interesting as well. <laughs> And uh, more of the same this next co next coming year. Uh, what what would be your paleo cast goal? What do you want to see happen? So I'm gonna, I'm thinking about writing a series of maybe a three episodes that are on the same sort of theme, so we can cover it a bit more broadly. Mm -hmm. I think that would be fun. So I'd do some kind of early vertebrate evolution thing, and uh, I've got also a super secret film project that I'm working on that hopefully I'll be able to tell you a little bit more about further down the line. Nice. Uh, any insights into that? Uh, it will be more of this in the <laughs> field and more of our unfortunate faces. <laughs> but you can't wait. <laughs> All right, well, thanks very much, Joe. Thanks, cheers. So first on the line, we've got Liz. Hello, Liz. Hello. Right, uh, questions that we're asking everyone. What have you done this last year? Oh, last year. Uh, I guess I was finishing or doing the third year of my PhD. So a bunch of data collection and fun things that went much slower than I wanted it to, as usual. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess I wrote a paper. Um, yeah. It's not out yet, but it should be by the time this uh, actually goes out. All right. What's, so, what's that about? That is on a small pterosaur from British Columbia. So it's from the late Cretaceous in Canada. And uh, it's a, a really small animal, which is weird because at the end of the Cretaceous, all the pterosaurs are really big and this one's really small. Ah. So it's cool. Any, any reason why it might be so small? Well, what we think is that rather than there not being any small pterosaurs, it's more of a preservation bias against small animals. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we'll find more because there have been other things found that are small-ish from this time period. They're just really fragmentary and not really nice. So, so hopefully definitely this not will... a juvenile. Nope. 
not a juvenile. We uh, looked at the bone tissue, and it's it's not completely full grown, but it is showing signs of slowing down. So it's not a, a juvenile. Sure. And yeah. this next year coming up, is that just going to be writing up your PhD? Yes. So getting into fourth year of my PhD, mm. I guess. So uh, I will be finishing my analyses and writing up, which apparently I haven't even told you this yet. Uh, three right. months of that may be in Japan. Oh, so wow. I might be in Japan for three months. <laughs> that's 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 a why? Uh, because my husband got a fellowship, or we're hoping he got a fellowship uh, in Japan. We're waiting on the final word of it, um, and if so, then we'll be off to Japan for three months. And you're so, going to be our Japanese correspondent. Yeah, I mean, so is that just cool. for three months, or is that potentially yeah. even longer? I mean, how no. long is he out there? No, it's it's three months, so oh, it's right. just a short term fellowship. Cool. Um, and so the goal is to get as much of my PhD or as much of my analyses done as possible before we go so that I can be writing in Japan and not have to worry about not having access to what I need here. So the next five or six months is going to be me frantically getting as much done as possible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, hopefully you can get some interviews while you're over there. Yeah. Write in with your uh, Japanese interview requests. Yes. So what was your favorite moment from this year? I think probably my favorite part uh, for PaleoCast of this year would be interviewing John Hutchinson. Um, I had a really good time interviewing him at the Paleontological Association meeting last year. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I really, I, I think a lot of John's stuff is really awesome and I love biomechanics. So being able to sit down with him for an hour and just talk about his research was, was really fun. I like doing that. It must have been a tough choice as well because you did so many episodes. <laughs> that is true. I did do a lot of episodes. But, uh, you know, I, I enjoyed all of them. I liked, obviously, talking to Mark Witten about pterosaurs. Uh, can't go wrong with that. Mm -hmm. It's pterosaurs. Um, what else did I do? Darren Nash. That was fun. Uh, Victoria. Was that, see, now I'm trying to remember. Was that was this that year this or, year or, or last year? year? I have a feeling that was last year, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Right. Well, it might have been this year. It might have been last year. It was good. Whatever year <laughs> if it, was it was. this year. Yeah. If, if it was this year, I also enjoyed that from this year. And if not, it was last year I enjoyed it for. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and so more of the same next year? Yeah. So, I mean, we've got one that'll be coming out in the next kind of month or so mm -hmm. um, that we've already recorded. So that'll be a good one. And then I don't have anything else lined up right now but uh, hoping to get some more awesome interviews for this year I need to start finding people to harass <laughs> so i'm going to put you on the spot um uh -oh. what would you like to know about what what interview would you like to get oh that is a good question um and now that you've put me on the spot i can't remember there was one that i've been <laughs> thinking about for a while oh uh something on early mammals Okay. I'd like to do something on kind of like we've done a few mammal ones, but nothing on, you know, the dawn of mammals. Like mm -hmm. what were Mesozoic mammals like? I think okay. that would be a cool one. Sounds good. Yeah. Well, let's all look forward to that next year then. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully I can figure something out for it. All right. Thanks very much then, Liz. Yeah. Thanks, Dave. See you later. See you. And now live from Virginia Tech, we've got Caitlin. How are you doing, Caitlin? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm very good. Uh, so straight into it, what have you been doing this past year, your first year at PaleoCast? My first year at PaleoCast, the second year of my PhD. So I've just started the third year of my PhD. And mostly what I've been doing is uh, finishing my master's and publishing that mm -hmm. and I was applying for a lot of grants. That's the majority of what I've spent my time doing. And then this summer, I spent the entire time in the lab pretty much uh, doing analyses on mammoth bones. Oh, so, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, so I was grinding them up into powders and putting them in acids and seeing what would happen, you know, science. All right. And what are you hoping to see? Or is that um, a secret? It's sort of a secret. Yeah, I'm not really going to 
go too much into <laughs> it just yet. <laughs> so is it anything to do with your background in melanin and pigments? Sort of. uh, not pigments, but organics for sure. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, DNA. You're going to clone mm-hmm. as a mammoth. I haven't decided yet. We'll see. <laughs> right. <laughs> and you said about publications, you're publishing your MSc stuff. Is is that already out? Is that what we interviewed you about? Yeah, that came out this time last year. So yeah. I was really happy to have that all done. And yeah, we recorded an episode about that. That was my first paleo cast experience. Uh, and uh, what are you going to be doing next year? Well, so I'm going into the third year of my PhD and it's just going to be uh, more of the same. I'm doing this mammoth project and then I'm going to take it further back in time. But that's oh. all I'm going to say about that as well. <laughs> all right. um, so, yeah, so uh, going to conferences, doing more analyses, writing it all up, basically uh, trying to get as much done as I can in my third year so that my last year isn't crazy. And mm-hmm. I also really want to go out in the field this summer. So my goal is to get as much done this the next two semesters so that I can spend some time outside because I was stuck in the lab all summer this summer. Have you got somewhere in the field that you know that you just have to be there, that this is where the best fossils are? <laughs> Well, my advisor has a field site that he's been going to for 10 years now. And we went out the summer before this one and the summer before that. And so I really missed it. And that's Ghost Ranch, New Mexico. Mm -hmm. And it's just awesome there. It's so cool. And there's so many fossils and it's just like the most beautiful place. So I definitely want to go back there. But I really like to just go all over the West and see, see what I can find. Right. And if we concentrate on PaleoCast now, uh, what was your favorite PaleoCast moments of the year? Well, mine personally was probably my interview with Larry Whitmer, because that was my first, like... I thought proper... you were going to say yourself. Well, <sighs> I can't say myself, Dave. That's not okay. Um, besides myself, it was probably my interview with Larry Whitmer, because that was my first proper sit-down interview that I did by myself. And he was awesome. And it turned out so well, I thought, um, for my first time, you know. Um, but also, I really loved the paleo art competition. I think that was probably my other yeah. favorite thing, because um, our listeners are so rad and they're so talented. <laughs> and I didn't even know that. So that's awesome. And what do you hope to do this next coming year? Have you got any big plans for PaleoCast? Yeah, so I have an interview in mind already that I'm hoping to do. I'm just waiting uh, for my interviewee to return from the field, and I'm assuming that'll happen soon. So that's something I'm plotting. Um, I also still really want to get um, the Trowel Blazer ladies and get them to sit down and right, talk okay. about all the cool stuff that they do. Um, and I'm hoping that that'll happen as well. And then I'm also going to be covering uh, the Society of Vertebrate Paleontology Conference again. Uh, which I did last year, which I really enjoyed. So that'll be fun. I heard um, a couple of days ago uh, that their field trip is to the Burgess Shale. Is that right? Is that true? I actually, is it? No, I don't think so. I'll tell you what, let's have a quick Google. Let me just Google that because yeah. I'm unaware if that is the case. SVP Calgary, isn't it? No, that's next year. So maybe it will be next year. This year it's in Salt Lake City. Sorry, I'm getting my years confused. That would make much more sense though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we can talk about that in the uh, 2017 review. I might have to do that field trip. That sounds like it would be awesome. Unless they're going from Salt Lake City, which might be uh, quite a a long Uh, way. It's a trek, yeah. That would definitely be an expedition. Well, if the organizers are watching it, make it happen. Yeah. (laughs) All right then. Um... Anything else from you? I don't think so. Okay. I've covered everything that matters. <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining us then. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. And last but not least, we've got Laura. Hi, Laura. Hi. How have you been doing? Yeah, really good. Thanks. How are you? I'm, I'm okay. Thank you. So we want to know what you've been doing this last year. I feel like I've done quite a lot this year. So... I've been at the Smithsonian at the at the National Museum of Natural History in uh, in DC for the past year. I guess I moved out here probably just before our last anniversary episode. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I'm now working on a, a whole variety of different projects here, which has been really exciting. There are a lot of different working groups in the museum, so I've met a lot of new people. Um, started working on a new project, kind of finished off some of the research from my PhD, writing that up. Um, 
visited lots of museums, which was really fun. So I've had a chance to go out to the West Coast, uh, see a lot more of the US, and uh, and I did some field work as well, which was really nice. good. It wasn't for my research, it was for somebody else's research, but um, so it's paleobotany, but I actually had a really good time mm-hmm. digging up fossil plants, even though obviously vertebrates are better. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what are you going to be doing this next year coming? I guess more of the same thing, really. Um, yeah, just trying to finish up all these this uh, multitude of projects that I've started. Um, I've actually been doing some citizen science projects while I'm here at the museum. So one of those is now sort of wrapped up. We were getting people to help us find microscopic arthropods um, oh, beautiful. under a microscope. Yeah. So yeah, so you, they you would, would have enjoyed that. So they would probably be ostracods. Yeah, ostracods. Yep. And. Uh, now we're just kind of putting together a project on the Zooniverse platform, which is a, an online citizen science thing, um, looking at, at fossil ginkgo leaves. Oh, okay. So that will be coming up soon. Paleocast listeners will be able to join in with that if they want to, because uh, it'll, yeah, as I said, it'll be online. So the more the merrier, really. Sure. When it's out, we can totally tell everyone about it. Uh, citizen yeah. science is a great way of getting involved with stuff. So, yeah. Um, yeah, and then I'll just be carrying on with my research. Hopefully I'll get to visit a few more, more museums this year. And then my fellowship ends next July. Postdocs are short, so. Yeah. And what has been your favourite paleocast moments of the last year? Um, I guess there's probably quite a few things I could say. Um, I've had a really good time doing some of the episodes this year. I had a lot of fun doing the one with Scott Wing, which I guess is my most recent one out in the field, mm. um, sitting in the desert next to our field vehicle, uh, trying to avoid the wind. But that actually turned out really well. And Scott is a great paleontologist and conversationalist. So that was that was quite fun. I really enjoyed doing that one. Um, you know what? I, di- I didn't imagine you sat by a car during that episode. It's strange no. to think of what people actually look like when they're doing paleocast. <laughs> I, I think for a lot of people, this is their first view of us. Like yeah, this is this true. is my paleocast studio in my bedroom, and I, <laughs> I had in, envisioned you being sat in kind of like a little valley underneath a tree. But well, we were sat in a valley, a little valley, not underneath a tree. But we had to drive for I think about fifteen minutes to get away from the wind so we had to find a slightly <laughs> deeper valley um, right. and then wait for the car to cool down and stop making weird noises <laughs> so that we could hide behind it from the wind uh it was an elaborate process but we got it done and i think the sound actually turned out pretty well so. it did actually uh microphones really lend themselves to outdoors recording i was doing some recording today actually outdoors and it not for paleo cast for something else and it just sounded absolutely lovely yeah yeah Anyway, um, so what are you hoping to do? Uh, what are you hoping to do this next year for Paleocast as well? Well, there's a couple of people that I have been trying to pin down for quite a while now. So hopefully, <laughs> I will finally get them to talk to me. They have mm-hmm. the questions and they're ready to go, but um, just need to organise the time to do it. So yeah, ticking ticking those people off my list. Um, and then I'm going to quite a few conferences probably this year. Maybe we'll have some stuff from GSA that's coming up soon. Um, so those kinds of things. And then we've got all the VNHM stuff as well. So that's exciting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a big one for me as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we've heard from everyone other than you now, Dave. So update us. What have you been doing this year? Well, this year has been really sort of redefining my PhD it's being self-funded uh, there's there's not really a set thing for me to work towards like I have my own research research objectives in a way so I've kind of been getting a bit inventive which is which is such a nice thing to be able to do as an academic to just ask your own research questions so yeah. I've I've gone from looking at a lot of the histology, um, like kind of the microscopic cross sections of Eurypterids, what their exoskeletons are made of, and started thinking a bit more laterally as to 
what the eyes were made of and what they could see and then also like how strong were the claws and what kind of elements that they contain so there's a there's a lot of different things that i've been trying to do and and yeah it's been really fun and and that's just the academic side of things on the professional side of things like my whole world's just been turned upside down um <laughs> so if all of our oldest listeners would know that i was working in the oil industry as a micro paleontologist well that all went all went uh with the fall of the oil price so i basically lost my job for a few years and then i've just got a new job now doing uh communication outreach stuff uh at the university of bristol so that's brilliant it's uh such a change and it's doing something that i really really love doing so that's a big positive and and it's just like round the corner it's like the next building over from where I'm doing my PhD. So I'll go in in the morning, do half a day at the Cabot Institute and then half a day back in the PhD office. So it's been a pretty good time. Sounds good. It is good. <laughs> so PaleoCast stuff, um, mm-hmm. what what was your favourite? You have you have a lot of PaleoCast moments. I guess you're involved in almost every episode. Mm, so yeah. how are you going to pick one? You know what? I've been asking everyone this question and I hadn't even stopped to think about it myself. I I think I liked um, the the thing that just comes straight to mind is uh, Professor Joe Kane, who did the uh, historical episode on the uh, dinosaurs at Crystal Palace. And I think it's a nice thing to be able to look at the history of paleontology and uh, see where a lot of uh, reconstructions and ideas all came from. And I think that's yeah. an important thing to explore as well. It was a bit different from our regular mm. episodes too. I thought, yeah, that was really interesting. And then just a lot of the conference stuff. So it's always fun, like going to some far off place and being the multimedia guy, turning up with my cameras and feeling all fancy. Your um, special badge. Yeah, with my special press badge. So, Yeah. Yeah, I keep all of them, actually. They're all on my door there. There's about, there must be about 20 or 30 from all the conferences that I've been to. So, yeah. It's always fun going to conferences. And hopefully this year coming is going to be no different. So, yeah, this year coming, what what are the PaleoCast plans? Uh, Other PaleoCast plans. I'd, I'd like to get a bit more of our beautiful, beautiful faces into the uh, things that we do um i don't know let us know what you think if we're too ugly for this then (laughs) we can get some feedback (laughs) yeah then maybe i could just do it um oh (laughs) uh, yeah just really changing up the the product that we deliver because the podcast is brilliant but we could do more like video stuff we could do like video reviews of films we could do computer games we could do uh, on-site reports from different localities and things like that so there's a lot more variety that i'd like to put into the museum at the museum you can tell what i was thinking about there into the (laughs) podcast but something that i'm excited about is the museum and that is something that i think is going to be uh really huge I, I want it to be a massive success and yeah for everyone that heard my interview uh well when you interviewed me about the museum hopefully the thing that came across is just how excited i am about it yeah. so yeah that was probably the paleo cast highlight when you interviewed me we should do it more often <laughs> yeah <laughs> Right. Well, with that, um, I hope you've all enjoyed uh, 2016. (laughs) I forgot what year year it was. (laughs) Right. I hope you all enjoyed. uh, Well, it's 2015, 2016 academic year. So, yeah, you'll let me off for that. And uh, yeah, let us know what your favourite moment was and what you're hoping for in the 2016, 2017 uh, Paleo Cash year, our fifth year. And so thank you all for listening. We'd love to hear from you. And thanks for joining us today, Laura. Thanks. Bye. See you later.